Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard drive. Bear with me a little bit on the tired side. Anyways, uh, 98 VHP. Well, you know what? Made in Malaysia, the last new ones that have been through here are actually doing okay. Not bad. Alright, let's get started with it. Oh, I'm going to show you something. I want you to pay real close attention to this. Real close. Watch this. Level at 15. And then watch it again closer when I change it. So you can see all of it, right? That's real as hell. They're way down. But watch what happens when I do something like this. Can't see nothing, can you? Just kind of buried in the noise. So anyways, now that we got that out of the way, all right, with a 50 watt carrier, it's doing all she can, all right? When I do the voice, you'll see it go up higher, so just stay tuned. It's already slightly going into compression, as you can see. Not bad, but slightly. And with voice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I, I did get the uh, the AF and the talkback modified. There's the talkback right there. It's good, crystal clear. You can turn it down. It's full and rich. And if you got one of my radios, you probably already know. If they squeal, you got bonding, common mode, ground loop, some kind of issue going on. Anyways, it's, it'll go nice and low also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, shut it off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I would run this at the 7, that's like about 30, 35 watts, and you'll see it right there, it's producing this 4 to 1 nicely. Very very minimal harmonics, let's see, let's go to 30 kilohertz, and that's wide open. Yeah, it's spreading out a little bit. But we're also not looking at it like that. Let's go back to it. Alright, so that's halfway. By the way, it's got Mad, uh, Mad Max. To give you a perfect scientific analogy, I don't have a thermometer, that a laser thermometer, but I play with this thing enough to realize, and I'm just going to give you a guess, maybe 5-7% to 7 less heat due to the fact that it's generating less heat. All the gate voltages on the, on the radio and the amper set, plus it's drawing less amperage, it doesn't have to produce as much amperage or current it's not getting as hot so can you talk on this thing a lot you can all right now let's go all the way down in power Here. as you can see it's not even registering but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three. you're gonna see the meter jump but not bad now right, let's go like this and when you hear it well, we're up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Breaker, breaker. And that's with this mic. Yeah, it's going to squeal. It's so darn close, okay? But you can run it all the way down. So you don't have to run them full power. I have to contact this customer to find out if he's going to want the uh, amplifier to go on and off with the noise blanker. Normally, I don't do that with brand new radios. Everything that else comes in for service i do it then. There's no holes drilled in this thing. There's no hot glue. There's no weird shit. Yeah, there's capacitors changed. Yes, there is. And a few other updates, alterations, but no bullshit inside the radio. No matter who looks at it, gets their hands on it, it's like the rest of mine. They're not going to be butchered, and they're going to carry their, their value or even be worth more money something you should always think about, right? 
my work isn't for everybody. If you want to see goofball looking shit on the meter and not get out where the damn, you don't want me doing it. If you want what I'm showing, you're really looking at the real deal. You're not going to get no more accurate. You can try. And when you find it, let me know. Alright. Alright, uh, sideband. In the prior video, I, I showed it and how dirty it was. We're using this mic right here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, matter of fact, let's go to the sideband. I'll probably I'll have to adjust it a little bit. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Upper to the top band. Upper sideband. Audio, one, two. Oh. Audio, one, two, three, four, five. And it's reading zero. It's touched again. Audio. See, these things are real touchy. Ain't no doubt about it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all the way down. And it's turning the power up. Turn our game down up here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, breaker. And that's on a sideband. Yes, it is. It'll work. It'll actually work. Now, I prefer these on this radio. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, 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 break. Audio CQDX. As you can see, everything's working the way it should work. No crazy shit. Yeah, it's on a sideband. So you're going to see some splatter on a sideband for sure. Go to 30 megahertz. Span, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what you get with these. But it's way, way better. But on AM... You're not going to have to worry about that no more. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, break, break. Audio. Let you look at it like this. Yes, it's going to work. If you're running down the road, turn it, like I said, down to the 7. And about there. And it's like about 30 watts in the carrier. I'll check out the forward modulation, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Nice and crystal clear. Everything working the way it should. You should be able to just talk on it, talk on it, talk on it. If you need to talk on it continuously and up close, you can. All right, it won't splatter all over the place and get real hot. It's warm right now, but it's not hot. So, if you need one, let me know. Yeah, they're a lot of work actually, but it seems like the Malaysian versions are doing a decent job compared to some of the ones in the past. I hope some of this is informative. Have a great weekend. It's Z time for me. Catch y'all later. 163. Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'm out of here. Click, click.